talk about the weekend because we are just minutes away from midnight, which means we're almost into Saturday. I gotta say, Pamela, for whatever reason, I was convinced that we were gonna have such a nice, gorgeous weekend. <laughs> now it sounds like we have a pretty short window of nice weather. Well, it'll be all right. Saturday, some lingering clouds and drizzle, but it, it depends on what you consider nice, because for the plants and the flowers, that's going to be nice yeah. for them. They could get a little drink in the morning. But then by the afternoon, we'll dry off. We'll see some mild temperatures, and we'll see our fair share of some sunshine. But unfortunately, Sunday, changes move in as we get a upper level low that spins up some cooler temps and a few shower chances. More about that timing in just a minute. Unsettled weather pattern continues into next week since we have that upper level low across the northeast. Then we'll get 70s and 80s as we skip ahead to midweek. The rest of your seven day forecast looking very summer like. So, this weekend, definitely a tale of spring as we had all those spring showers that moved through early this evening, picked up anywhere between half an inch to an inch and a half in most communities. And the visibility is low right now as we see some drying skies in terms of the heavy rainfall. We're left with low visibility, dense fog across the Cape and the islands. And this is going to be your biggest hazard if you're out driving late tonight or early tomorrow morning. The thickest fog will be across southeastern Massachusetts and the south coast. And so those low beam headlights are necessary. And the satellite radar image, it shows you that we have those low clouds in place, but all that heavy rain has moved offshore except across Nantucket. A couple lingering showers with the last little wave of rain here. And then we have some drier conditions farther to the west. That moves in for tomorrow. Temperatures now have cooled just a degree or two. 47 Boston, 50 in Norwood, the same in Taunton, and 52 degrees in Falmouth. It'll be muggy tonight with areas of fog, some drizzle, mostly cloudy, and temperatures in the upper 40s. Tomorrow afternoon, once we get the clouds to move out, which they're, of course, going to linger probably across the Outer Cape and across Nantucket for a majority of the day, well, then we'll get breaks of sun and warmer temperatures, warming into the low and mid 70s inland, 66 in Boston, with some cooler temperatures across the coast and especially around Buzzards Bay, where you have that south wind over the cooler ocean water. That's going to keep temperatures a little bit cooler than inland. So hour by hour here, this cold front moves offshore. Still, we have the cloud cover across southeastern Massachusetts until late in the day. Six o'clock, mostly clear. And then our next round of rain moves in late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. And and this is our upper level low. It's going to stall out, become cut off. So what that means is wave after wave of some showers. Not an all day complete washout at this time for Sunday. So your plan's still a go. Just check the radar before you head out. Have an umbrella in the car. And 9 o'clock Sunday, that cold front moves across the area, but it stalls out. So we'll spin up more cooler temps for the start to your seven day forecast and next week, as well as multiple rain chances. The weekend, lots of events going on. Nantucket Daffodil Festival it continues Saturday. 54, a little bit of a gray day. Sunday, 53, chance for a shower all around a typical spring day on Nantucket. South Shore, boat show in Hingham. Saturday, warmer of the two days. Sunday, a little bit cooler, but that cool pool of air not only sticks around for Sunday, Monday, but also for Tuesday. Then the jet stream starts to move and goes farther to the north. So allowing for warmer temperatures to build and build and build. And there we have summer. We go from 50s Sunday, Monday to 80s by Wednesday, Thursday, even a thunderstorm chance in for Friday. David, Lisa? Makes it exciting. Pamela, thank you.